Hello traders, today I'm going to develop a video for this comment. Please help us develop a bot with volatility index 10. When the last digit is 0, the bot should take over trade. Prediction should be 2. For example, if the last digit is 0 and the following digit is also 0, let the bot take trade. Okay, today I will explain how to analyze not only two digits, but you will be able to analyze any number of digits example if you want to analyze three digits four digits or any number of digits i will show how to do that and also here is asking last two digit is zero so i will explain how to do not only zero any number you want to analyze i have replied for all the comments i have got for all the videos for the next video still i haven't got a strategy to develop so if you have any strategy to develop as a bot, you can comment for this video. To start developing, first I am going to deriveoptions.com. You can find the link in the video description. From here, if you don't have a derive account, you can open a new account from here because binary.com is rebranding as derive now. So I am explaining bot development on derive bot platform. So by clicking here, I'm going to binary, not binary, derive bot platform. From here, I'm choosing binary bot. You can even choose the bot also, but for the purpose of explaining binary bot development, this binary bot platform is very easy. So I'm logging to binary bot platform. First, I will reset this bot. I'm changing the market to synthetic indices, continuous indices, and volatility at an index. Then I'm changing the trade type to digit digits, then digit over under. Since in this video he's asking for only for digit over trades, I'm changing contract type to digit over here now what we want to do is we want to analyze last digits so i am creating two variables analyze count then another variable analyze number i am setting this here and changing analyze number here analyze count here he is requested two digits so I'm changing analyze count to two and analyze number you want two zeros The prediction should be digit over 2. So I'm changing 2 here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to take the last digit list. So first I'm going to binary. Click analysis. And I'll take this yellow color code block. And again I'm going to variable and create new variable to save our last digit list. I'm creating last digit list variable and taking it and connect it here then I'm going to tick analysis advanced and take this last digit list but we want only two digits to analyze so we want to take two digits from this last digit list for that I'm going to list and I'm taking this code block and instead of this list I'm deleting it and I'm taking this last digit list and connect it here and connect it here what we want to do is from the end we want a number of digits analyze count we want to 
I'm taking this analyze count variable and connect it here and to end to the last number so we can get last two digits here let's test whether this is correct I'm taking this notify green code block and connect it here and I'm taking this variable and last digit list and check whether we got only last two digits Yeah, we can see only last two digits is here. Let's change this to five digits. And let's see whether this is working or not. Yeah, we are getting last five digits from this list. So today I'm explaining a new method to check the number of last digits are zero or not. So first I'm going to loop. And I will take this for each item in list and connect it to this second code block. And here I am develop for each item i in list, which list we want a last digit list. I am connecting it here. I am going to logic. If this i equal our analyze number variable i is we want not equal not equal to analyze number again we want to create a new variable here to test whether this analyze all the numbers in this last digit list are same to analyze number or not so I'm creating a new variable check number okay I'm setting this check number here and set it to one then I will set this check number here and set it to zero then i will develop a new logic here take this logic code block and connect it here if this check number if this check number is equal one purchase or so what's happening here is at the beginning of the tick our set check number is one if any number in this list is not equal to this analyze number zero then this check number will change to zero then what happened here is uh, we, we are taking a trade only if this check number is one so if check number is one means all the numbers in this list is equal to our analyze number that's happening here so that's it about this comment so if you want to change this analyze number from zero to any number you can change here that means if you put nine the bot will check five nine digits yes until it plays a trade so i mean so i will change here two and i will change here zero as requested in this comment now i am running this bot I will clear the logs now if two zero appear here the bot should place a trade okay two zero appeared but place a digit over two trade okay, let's let's change this analyze count to three and analyze number two one here what's happening is if this all these three numbers are one that means one 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 last digit yes but we'll take a digit over two trade you can change the prediction from here also so i'm in this 
video from here if you have any questions regarding this video or if you have any strategy to develop as a bot you can comment in this video and if you want to develop your strategy as a binary bot you can contact me through email you can find the email in the video description and thank you very much for watching